God, from the young to the old, we know God is love. So if we're not teaching the people how to love each other better, how to love those that have less than them better, what are we teaching except for the 10% way of life, which is to take advantage of the 85% in the ignorance so you can rob them and live in luxury. That's the design of the 10%. I don't emulate that, God. I don't aspire. When I was a young and I was 14 years old and I learned about this culture, and the only thing I ever wanted to be was Almighty God I love. I never wanted to be no doctor, no astronaut, no school teacher, none of that. I just realized these are ways to be able to do the work of Almighty God Allah. So of course we're supposed to make ourselves exemplary in the fields that we study in and the work that we do. We're supposed to be the best at whatever we do. Like God do my what they said, from a janitor to an architect. Even if you're sweeping the floor, you're supposed to sweep the floor the best. You're supposed to be the God of sweeping the floors. So when they call you back and pay you double to sweep that floor. And they don't want nobody to sweep the floor but you. And now you got to hire and train youngins to sweep like you. Now you got a cleaning company. Now you in the bands and you know what I mean? You checking on the cleaning and then you supervise it. But that is the way a man go to being a king. That's what it means to be a king. See, because a man already when he take care of his family, that make him a father. That's not what being God is. See, being God is taking care of those that's not your blood. Being God is when you take care of what a, fa a father don't. A king take care of citizens, but them citizens serve him. So that's a gang leader, warlord, business owner. That's a king. All of them is kings. Because they're responsible men that's not their children or their lineage. But what make a man a god is when you're responsible motherfuckers that might even hate you. Peace to the gods and earth. If Mega did this.